Hello and welcome to Platypus Scotsman. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Hope all is well and that your hobby is cruising right along and that you have mojo. Anyway, I'm going to do a church today. This is uh, coming from Jake, my son. He wanted me to do a church. Kind of like the old style, like 1800 Midwest type style. Just one of those old churches, but with some twists. He kind of gave me some ideas and some directions to go. And this is going to be another one of the additions to the Grim Dark pieces that I've been doing. This project's probably going to be a little bit longer uh, just because of the size of it. I'm going to repurpose some roof pieces that I did well over a decade ago uh, before laser cutting and things like that. Uh, I want to repurpose them because they just, they've just been sitting there and I want to use them. So I'm going to try to use them in this one and, and do the roof with it. So without any more introduction, let's go. I use some graph paper to make a rough sketch so I know how to frame this wall in. And this is uh, 1 8 by 1 8 basswood. This is 3 16 by 3 16 inch basswood. Put these along the bottom and on top. These are four inches long. And I'm gonna put those, uh, other, these are windows by the way. And I'm just gonna put these along where, the, where there's no windows. I'm just using stick pins right now just to pin the tops in and the, bo the top and the bottom in so they won't shift on me. Putting the wood on the left side of the line so the line still I can still see the line. And I will go back and dab glue just to make it stronger. So I cut some 1 16th by 1 8 basswood and bent it in there, pinned it toward, so it more, goes more towards the walls. And then I'll put a lot of glue in right here. Kind of tap it in there and I'll let that dry and well I'll do more and then I'll let that dry that's essentially what I did I just bend them put them in there and then just bend them so because they won't feel like this and then just put that and just bend it in there move this over here then stick a pin right there so this is something I built years and years ago I was gonna make I can't remember what I was gonna make actually but it was gonna be a bombed out roof and other stuff Anyway, uh, I now found a purpose for it. I made these struts the same way as I did the church. So I'm just gonna te tear everything apart on this and use these struts for the roof. So that's what I'm gonna be starting doing right now is just see if I can just very carefully take this apart. All right, I'm gonna start assembling the church. I'm gonna use the green mat as a square to keep this obviously square. But anyway, start applying glue and start throwing this thing together. If it's a teeny bit off, it's not that it won't be a huge deal, but I don't I want it to be as square as possible. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start gluing the roof pieces on. I'm gonna glue them in the same width as the as the sidewalls. So what I've done is I've made some tick, well, first of all, so what I've done is I've cut a lot of strips of balsa wood. It's a uh, three eighths inch wide. 
and however long, doesn't really matter. And it's because I have a lot of balsa wood. You can use cereal boxes. Anyway, there's a lot of different things you can use. I just happen to have balsa wood, so I'm using that. And what I've done is I've gone and made uh, tick marks up the side of the building every 5 16th of an inch, just enough to help keep me level, and so I have a little bit of overlap. And now I'm, all I'm doing is just going through and gluing. The bottom was directly flat on there, but now I'm just going through and gluing some of this on here, putting a little bit of glue, eyeballing it, using the tick marks like I have three of them, one in the middle, one each end. And then just put a little bit of glue here too, just so it has two places to tack down onto. Not a lot, and I'm using turbo tacky, so I don't have a lot of long wait time. Still gonna have a wait time, it's not a huge one. And then just go through and put that on there and have a little bit of overlap. Oh, or it falls over. Now I did have it on the side, but just because I'm filming, uh, I'm making it so you can see it easier, but I did have it flipped up on its side. You could do more cuts like this, but I'm not going to. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I'm just going to say they found long trees. But I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of this. Kind of get the idea as far as overlapping. Just kind of give it that overlap fill. And then I'm going to go through and, and do that. Uh, when I get to the roof, I'm not going to do overlap. I'm going to do flat because I'm going to end up putting shingles on there. And so I'm just going to put a bunch of strips on there and then do random shingles. But when I get to that point, I'll show that. It's a lot of work, but not a lot of video, just because there was so much laborious things I had to do with this, as far as the siding and everything else is concerned. One thing I did this, this is kind of a collapsed part of the belt, well, the steeple uh, to the church. The idea being that they collapsed it to have it fall in to help pin the door better. So there's a lot of ax marks or a lot of what I, what, I, what I did as far as simulated ax marks around the front up here. And I just had one of the, one of what would have been the upper part just kind of collapsed in on itself. And then I threw some rubble in there. We'll see how that goes and if, there's need, if I need more. One of the sides of it is gonna be, I started to destroy, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it much to the other side. I also started to shingle this side, but I don't know if I want that balsa wood shingle. So that's one of the questions I have for you. I need your help on what your opinion would be. So should I do the sides like a, with a chipboard or a cereal box or corrugated metal or shingle the balsa wood? Uh, what would be, what What do you think would go the best? I'm not sure what, I'm still kind of, I don't know, I'm up in the air. The one thing I was thinking of doing, no matter what I do the sides, is putting metal up here and just kind of give it a variation and not have it shingle up here, just have strips of like, metal i don't know if it'd be corrugated or flat that way i can do some patina on it to give it some uh, more character oh one thing i did do that i didn't show on camera is i did once i had the main frame all built i did go outside and spray it with a gray and that way anything i can't touch with a paintbrush it'll be dark so it, it doesn't matter if you like the video go ahead and hit the like button uh subscribe to the channel so you can see what we're doing in the future and if you get value out of this channel and there's things that you can use and you think there's worth to it. Think about going over to Patreon and, and supporting us there so we can continue to do this and to help us going forward in our efforts as far as this channel is concerned and the things that we want to do here and the things we want to produce. If you want to see our portfolio and the pictures that we have, go over to Instagram. It's a Platypus Scotsman. That way you can go see all our pictures and they're, they're sitting there all the time and we post other pictures too like scott is going to start having more of his miniatures being posted there and also we're going to start doing more whips but they're going to be over on our blog and uh, scott has already been posted some whips up over there of his miniatures so if you want to see what the whips are and other things and just miscellaneous content you can join us on our blog as well and then we also have facebook we have we have a facebook group facebook page have a good night and i hope all is well and hope your hobby's going well uh good and that you're uh, enjoying your hobby and enjoying these tutorials. Remember what my mother used to always say, that anyone can do art, and I truly believe it. Ciao.